So what we're going to be working with today is this church that I got from Dollar General a while back. We're going to put it in a wreath. All right. Now, the big thing to figure out is how to mount it on this oval so we don't end up losing it. Now look at that. They have a piece of elastic in here. So you can mount your, your battery pack in there. So we're going to put our battery batteries in now. Unless it's got a... Oh, no, it's just a slide open. why they have this this just to test it in the store but I don't know how to get rid of it otherwise because <clears throat> you're not going to need it <clears throat> but yet well there is a window down in here a little circle in the bottom so you can Put it in there, and then put your battery pack on that. That could get it out of the way and still, because I don't want to cut any wires today. But it's a very tight hole. There, got it. Okay, I just went and stuffed that back in there. And then we're gonna put this in the elastic and we're going to hide some of our wires in that elastic. Your button is still there to turn it off and on which what I did was I turned it so it's on this end because that's going to be the back and I want them to be able to reach it and turn it on and off. All right, now, I'm going to use some of that wire that we threw out because it's very thin, so it won't be visible. And I'm going to put it up here underneath the steeple top. And use that as an area at the top to anchor it. Hey, how's Levon? Sue found a place in, is it Winter Haven? So that's going to help us anchor it at the top. Now, just a matter of getting it through here. This is awkward to work with. Come on now. Yep. Thank you, dear, because nobody is finding me again, and it won't let me share again, and same old crap, you know? There we go. All right, I got the top, I think, pretty secure. Puppies are wild today. Just trying to find a way to knot it. A couple people joined in, but they don't feel like talking. And that's okay.
It's just the hard part. But I thought I'd show it from beginning to end so everybody can do it themselves. Now I think what I'm going to do is put some of it inside the wreath base and then add a little glue there for extra support. Excuse me. Oh crap. Well, we'll be removing the bow. <laughs> Good. Yes. Too much stuff going on. All right. We got the top secure. I'm going to trim off. I did trim off, but. Now that we reversed it, I'm just going to trim off some of these gnarly things. So we can get rid of that. And I'm scratching other doors. We had some snow here today, but it's gone. It melted away already. All right. Now, just trying to see if there's a area here. I think if I circle around it and go back. Hi, Nanny Dot. Hi, Debbie. Welcome. Well, maybe right through here. Yeah. What I'm trying to do is just find a little area that I can disguise the wire and yet attach it securely to the wreath. Kind of like that. And actually I can go in front here and circle around because this is going to all be covered with greenery. So we should be able to disguise it pretty well with all we're adding to the wreath. Yeah, like that. All right, so down through here. And what I showed at the beginning, for those of you just popping on, I showed a way to make a matching wreath holder for your customers. Just another something that you can add. Now what I did with this one, I actually took the ribbon, removed the wire, stitched it, and made a sleeve, and then just covered it. So you can cover your own um, wreath holders and sell them with your wreath. Just another addition for your customers. So. I think what I needed was my staple gun. And I'll probably have to go back afterwards and staple this down onto the wood. That way it's really secure and it won't be going anywhere. So for right now, I'm just going to twist it. But when I'm done from the back, I'm going to go ahead and add some secure staples to that. Ouch. And I always make sure I bury my wire 
in the grapevine so the customer does not hurt themselves. So I have enough room that I can put some staples on the side there and a staple in the back and that should secure it. And they'll still be able to reach the switch from the back side. All right. So for this, I already went ahead and I made my bow, just a five looper. Jeez, poor girl. I hope she's not in any pain. There have been so many babies, fur babies, sick lately. And a few older ones crossed the rainbow bridge. And it is just a sad time for them all. Hi, Kathy. Welcome. Are you cold in North Carolina? We're in the 30s here. <laughs> we had snow this morning. The sun made it go away. So are you colder than 30s? I hope not. All right, so there we got our bow. I already did my dovetails. Now, we're gonna start with some greenery. We got all kinds here. This is gonna be an easy peasy one because you really don't need a lot I'm going to start with pushing some down in here. I'm using the fuller pieces at the bottom. And if any of this is hidden, I can go back at the end and I can disguise it some more right here. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut like some smaller pieces just to place there. I could cover it up a little more with the bow. could bring the bow up some too. Actually, I could even just spot touch the glue right to the front of that to hold it firmer in place. All right, I kind of like where these two are. I kind of have one pine cone going down, one pine cone going up. There's various greens in here. So let's just go ahead and glue. Well, there you go. I bet it is. <laughs> Oh, she's probably handling it okay, too, isn't she? When are they going to do the surgery? Anytime soon? Kathy's in North Carolina. I'm in Pennsylvania. Nanny Dot, well, Dorothy is in Pennsylvania. Levine is in Florida. Alright, 
Then I'm going to stick another one up here because I want to kind of get higher up. So I'm going to put this one up a little further. Okay. Do you know how many warranty calls we've had today? <laughs> I'm not answering it. There. So there's what we got so far. And again, this was one from Dollar General. And it has a switch here for the light. Turn the lights on. Let's see if I can get it turned off. There. All right, now we're just going to put some other greenery in here to kind of beef it up. It always looks better if you have three different kinds of pines in there in your design. Um, this one did come with two on it, so I'm adding some different ones. I don't like where that is. I'm not going for matchy-matchy, so I'm going to put this one down a little bit further. I'm going to cut off the part that's going to be glued in. Actually, let's see. I have not had formal training with florals. I go strictly by eye. Um, thank you. So that's how I roll. And then we'll get this down in here. Trying to find the perfect spot. Kind of like that. I'm just going now for texture, some more texture. So that's why I'm adding these plain green ones. It's another type of pine. And it's just going to give it a little more. I think I like that one up there and this one down here. I am going to be adding some white sticks to this because I'm trying to pull out some of the white on the church. So that's, and again, that's another texture. And then it's not going to make this look so much, so green. It's going to break up the colors. And I also have some, what are these called? Lamb's wool ears. see where I want to go with this one. That's too full. I think that's just enough over there for adding the various green texture. Actually, yeah, just like that. All right, now, did I glue this one? No. That is the lid for my detergent. I was using that to make a pattern for my um, nutcracker 
that I made the other night and placed in a wreath. Now, there's one shiny piece, and I think I'm going to go. Nope, that one there. That one there. I want it about there, but I think it's going to go over here. Just a little bit of glitter to pump it up. All right, now what we have left, we have the lamb's ears. And I also think that I'm going to put some of these balls in here. I had them left over from another project. And I just thought it'd be kind of a little different. Except I'm not sure if I want, I don't think I want one in the middle. So I'm thinking kind of like right there and there. These were balls that I just made out of styrofoam um, ornament balls. And I just covered them with the fabric and then glued them. And there is a video on how I did those. It's under videos. So if you wanted to make some yourself, you can go back and look in the videos of how we did that. And all I did was save leftover pieces from the picks that I cut off and added them in there. I just thought this would be another um, greenery to add in here that would kind of break up some of the green. But I also thought just these sticks in here too. So let's go ahead and let's put in some of these. So it's going to be like you're looking at the church, you know, in the woods. So I'm just going to place a couple of these around and see if this is where I want them first before I glue them. Just want to try some out. This was a big bouquet of, um, where is it? Got these from Sims. And I thought, oh, this is perfect. I can break these up, cut smaller pieces. If I had an arrangement um, in the corner or something that I wanted some height, I've got you know, several things I could do with that. And it's nothing more than painted sticks. So if you have sticks in your yard and you want to paint them, go for it. It just adds another element to your design that sometimes it might need. That one is not going in there. All right, so this is a longer one. I kind of want to put that down in here because I kind of want this side a little higher, but yet I want to gradually go down in size. So I don't want it to be matchy-matchy because it's not matchy-matchy in the woods. just makes it look like it's you're looking through the tall trees and this one might be better off on the outside than on the inside because I don't want it competing with the church I'm 
I'm trying to work it so they kind of curve around. Again, it's just another little element that I can add. Give it some more texture and I kind of pull the colors together. Okay, I kind of like that. That one. Let's glue this one. Thank you. Yeah, they they're really pretty. There's been some nice ones out there. This was one I actually started last week and got interrupted. funny there are days you just have to come in this room and lock yourself in here and zone out the world and that's what I was doing for most of the week zoning things out all right now let's see where we want to put some of this lamb's wool ear just as another little added pop Color. Mm. Kind of like that. Ooh. When will they make hot glue that doesn't have webs? Good golly. Kind of like this one right here. And I think we'll just kind of go with that. Let me see. I kind of like those two together. We'll get a ball in here.
extra light. Okay. right there. It fills in that spot. There. And then see I could go ahead and list it for sale and then list it for sale with this matching oops wrong way. This matching wreath holder. Wouldn't that be pretty? I have to go back in and just put a couple of staples in the wire back here. And I think that is pretty. Let's turn on the light. And see, there wasn't a whole lot to it. I think the church was $8.00 at Dollar General. Which I think I showed everyone that the first time I went to Dollar General when I hit all that stuff. All right. So we'll put that down because I wanted to show you what else I found. And I'm going to do something with it. I just have to think about it a little bit. Let me get some of this off the table. That just looks simple, doesn't it? Like not overly gaudy. All right. Now, this is what else I found. And I'm definitely going to use them. I bought two of these last year and just the plain um, Victorian looking. They're lamp posts. Last year, and there is videos on my YouTube channel, I made um, carolers and I showed you how to make them. And this was just, it just accented those carolers. But these, this year, are different. They have them where they look like a birch tree. And now they have the cardinals in them. And these were $5. See? So, either I'm going to put these in a wreath, or... What I thought I'd do too, I have these really nice little green uh, swags that would make a nice centerpiece. So I thought these would really be cute in the centerpiece with cardinals and greenery. Um, so I think we're going to work on that next week. But I wanted to show you what I got. See how it just looks like a really cute birch log. And again, last year when I bought the black ones, they didn't have all this on it. Dollar General. They were on a bottom shelf. Last year they were on the top shelf and they sold out really quick. These black ones look so pretty with my carolers. But this year they've added greenery, a wreath, um, some greenery here, some holly, and they've added the cardinals. And I thought that would make such a beautiful centerpiece. And they're, they were five. So sometimes you really just have to look around. Like when I went back this time, they had big nutcrackers, which that's why I made my own nutcracker because I couldn't find one. And I have two more nutcrackers coming out. Um, so they would be cute as a as three. Also, 
I know a lot of you watched when I did this centerpiece the last time, which I think we have time we can finish this up now. This was a centerpiece I made out of a primitive uh, dough basket. And this is one thing I found they had, and this is what I've been looking for, is the 10 battery operated uh, lights. Because my intention was to put two of these lights up inside a ball and then do that. And this was a, a snowman ornament that I had. It was an old one. And I added um, a pom-pom base to the bottom. And then these trees we did on a live too. And it's in the uh, videos on how to make those. These are styrofoam with this yarn that I bought from um, Ace, or Michaels. So let's go ahead and finish this up while we're at it. I know, right, Debbie? <laughs> That's what happened the last time I went. I came back with the bells and they had pine cones and so many things that, oh, the manger scene, the wooden manger scene, because we were all looking for mangers. But look, this is just the perfect size for this basket. So I thought I could start by putting two lights up in each hole. Maybe, maybe not. Nope, it's only going to take one. All right. So we'll leave one light out and go every other one with a, with a, a light. So, trying to figure out what the best way to hold those in. I guess we're just going to have to lay them in there. Because I don't have 10 of these balls. These are um, vintage balls. So I only had five. But we can put these. And I thought, oh, this is perfect because... The greenery is going to hide the green wire. I'm going to turn this this way so I can see what I'm doing. And then the one that's not in a ball, I will just bury it in the greenery. Like I said, we're just going every other one. This was actually a dough basket that I found on Facebook Marketplace that I bought off of the lady. We added the snowman, the greenery, we made the trees. I think once it's out, <laughs> a lot of people are going to be going to pick them up. I said, man, if somebody even had like a big train set with the with the bigger trains, boy, they would look so cute. Oops. Lost my light. There we go. And see what's nice about this, if you go ahead and sell this, you know, the dollar light set is not going to be a a big deal to sell it with the lights. And they had these in multicolored ones too. So it wasn't just the white, it was the multicolored. But for this centerpiece, I just wanted white. So look at that. And then I can hide the battery pack back in there. Just a little pop. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> That's what happened the last time. They had those wooden manger scenes and I had a, a manger wreath that I had to do and it was perfect. I just had my husband do some chopping to it. But look, that's all. That, that is, that's, I love lights at Christmas. Just on a table 
and it's just hidden real nice back in there. And I think what we're going to do, if I have time tomorrow, I'm going to try and come on tomorrow. I have two wreaths that are hideous. They were in the sun last year. They're damaged. The mesh is perfect, but the ribbon and just the balls have lost their color. So we're going to take those apart and redo them. There's two. So isn't that pretty? I need to take the sticker off my uh, snowman ornament. <laughs> well, there you go. We did a church wreath. I showed you how to cover these. I'm going to come up with another method of how to do this. So when I do, um, when I figure that out right, I know you could do it and glue it, but I'm not sure how it would look. But it just finishes it off. I mean, you could sell this with your wreath. That would be a, you know, an add-on. It only cost you a dollar and some ribbon. And I think it really adds a nice touch to it, doesn't it, when you have that up there? Just look on a bottom shelf, Debbie. They all have the same um, format when they're putting things on the shelves. So just look for the lower, lower shelf and you should find them. They all get a picture of what their display should look like. And it was an aisle on the left. I forget, it might have been that the nutcrackers were on the bottom right. And when I turned around and I looked and saw them, because I've been watching, because that's where I got the ones for my caroler display last year. Oh, and I have to show you what I made today. I already got orders. So, I, I sublimated on this wood. And see, these are little snowflakes. Then we have, and I did post pictures on my wreathery page. Here are some pole, oops, don't want to lose them. Here are the polar bears. Isn't he cute? Oops, sorry. Hi, Dawn. And then everybody loves gnomes. Aren't they cute? So I did post those on my page. These are $6.95. And then I have the smaller um, oblong shape ones, rectangle. Dawn, look what I found at Dollar General today. Dawn will be interested in these. Remember I used the plain black ones last year for the carolers? These were five bucks and they've got the lights in them light and this year they have cardinals on them can you see that in a centerpiece um where are they oh, i have these that i found and you could do this with garland you could do this with anything but look if you just had this in the center of the table like that. Look, you could put some cardinals in here, some lights. Wouldn't they look cute? Or if you had a swag, one of those teardrop swags, you could put that in the middle like that. Look at that. It'll attach right to the, to the swag and you could put your cardinals throughout. Put some ribbon on there. Wouldn't that be cute? I even thought these would be good. These are a 24 inch door swag, they're called. But look, 
you could do these on a corner of your door. You could put one on one side and then put one on the other side, have some ribbon, have some ornaments drizzled down here. I knew you would, girlfriend. Dollar General, five bucks. Go back and look on YouTube for my carolers that I made last year. I showed you how to make carolers, and that's what I did. I had the carolers all around the light post. And then I showed everybody I covered. These are also a dollar at a Dollar General. I didn't finish this one, but I covered the wreath hanger to match the wreath we did today, which was this one. Isn't that awesome? And look, this is, where did I get the door spikes? Okay, these were from Sims. I think I have an order going in next week. If you have a wholesale license, they are item number C is in cat, V is in Victor, D is in dog, 015. They are a 20 inch door swag, bristle pine with cones, 23 tips. But wouldn't that be awesome? It, in my house, I do not have high ceilings. I do in my front room and my store because they were additions. But my house only has seven and a half foot ceilings. So I have no room above my doorways to put swags like these. But the corner swags are the big, big happening this year. They're actually using the Dollar Tree square frame and cutting it on a diagonal and taking it and using that as their corner swags. So you can decorate those too. That was the church. Remember when I did that, when I did that shopping trip to Dollar General the last time and that was the church that I picked up. That was $8. It has lights in it. Um, where's the switch? See? Isn't that cute, Dawn? I knew Dawn would like that. All right, so look for me tomorrow, possibly around 12 or 2, um, if I don't get tied up with the puppies. Right? You have those frames, Dawn. You can do it. You don't need this. You do not need this. Just cut over here, top and bottom, and then you have two pieces to use as your square frames. Right? You don't need this. Just need some garland to put on that, um, that swag. You could use mesh on those swags. I bought these because I thought I would try and make some centerpieces. And I'm thinking these, because they have the cardinals on them, I'm thinking these would be so cute to add a bunch of cardinals. Right? All right, I think I did enough damage to everybody's purse. <laughs> I gave you some ideas, and I know everybody's going to be running to Dollar General today. But if you get a chance, I think Missy is on now over at uh, my Sunshine Wreaths and things. So check out Missy. Tell her I sent you. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great evening. Thanks. Bye-bye.